folks, welcome back to another Marvel Legends video and we're going to a figure from last year and uh, yeah, recently acquired this myself um, and this could be one of the uh, <laughs> coolest, strangest figures that I own. This thing is amazing. It is of course MODOK from Marvel Legends. This was released last year, I believe, if not very early this year, but I, yeah, I do think it was last year because I think he's been, been sitting around for a little while. Um, yeah, big thanks to a new friend for hooking me up with this thing, uh, for a really good deal. Um, yeah, he's taken an absolute pride of place in my collection and he's just such a fantastic looking figure. I love it so much. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, it's fantastic. I love, I just love this thing dearly. <laughs> it is brilliant. It's a really good figure. Um, yeah, I love you know, everything about it. It comes with two faces, which is cool. Um, so he does have articulated arms and legs. So he can just pop the face off. And here we have the other slightly more angry face, which I like as well. I like them both, I think. But yeah, there's just something about, something about them that's just, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. It's you know, I'll just zoom up a little bit on the face here, just so we can get a look at the sort of shading in the in the creases and the crevices of his cheeks. And oh, it's just, that paintwork is just fantastic. Really nicely done. I'm I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. Um, so yeah, as a bonus, you can also pop off the back and uh, have him out. Um, but I believe this is just, you know, you can, you can store the extra bits and pieces in there if you want to. Um, I don't. That's not my, my thing. I'm going to leave him, leave him empty. Um, just because of the rattle, I think. If we can get that to line up again, that'd be great. But yeah, you can take the hair piece off. I think they sort of made this with the idea of being a little bit modular, given that they did another MODOK release. Um... I can't remember the name of it, but he's got like the Elvis sunnies and the Elvis hair. Um, I'm, 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 it's like the, the Modoc World Tour or something like that. Um, yeah, really funny, really great looking figure as well. But I believe it's using most of this as a base. Um, different hair, different faces. Um, maybe a few different accessories. In terms of hands, he does come with another set of open palmed hands. Which is nice. I personally like having him sort of gripping the joystick of his little, I don't know, like I said in the MODOK show, the series, if you haven't watched it, I definitely recommend checking it out. Pat Oswalt plays, plays MODOK. It's a little bit more satirical than a typical comic book, but it, it's it's worth a watch. Um, but they, yeah, they refer to it at one point as his floating toilet. <laughs> but um, yeah, I know he's sort of menacing fish. I kind of like that being up in the air like that. I think it looks really good. Um, down the bottom, we do have the, the sort of flame effects to sort of keep him off the ground, his sort of propulsion, um, which, you know, really nicely done because it allows that to sort of stand and not look awkward. But I really like that. I think it's good. But yeah, the rest of the uh, floating toilet is... Uh, you know, there's a little bit of sort of darker bronze detail sort of in some of the cracks and crevices. A couple of the buttons there. And the back. You know, little bits of darker detail in the cracks as well. So it's not just a solid plastic piece, which is good. Um, no irony with the, with the solid, because it's not solid, but, you know, in terms of colour, um, it does have a little bit of detail there, which is good. Um, doesn't need any more, you know, this is Modoc sort of high-tech gadgetry and, and all that, so have his legs out, his legs are in there sort of on a on a ball hinge, um, sorry, just a ball and socket, <laughs> I guess, um, yeah, hinges there, swivels at the upper thighs there, so you can get him, you know, almost meditating, almost, it's not the type to meditate, I don't think. Double joints in the knees and good hinges joints in the ankles. Um, there is also just a little ball and socket joint there for the joystick, so you can sort of have that, you know, you can adjust that as you wish with the hand. It just allows for a bit of a range of movement, which is nice. 
but yeah, I'm just crazy about this thing. He's just all sorts of ridiculous and awesome, and I love him. Um, yeah, rumor is Modok's going to make an appearance in Ant Man and Wasp Quantum Mania next year, I think, when that film comes out. Interested to see how they interpret Modok in the MCU. There's been a few apparently leaked photos going around. Um, so, but yeah, we'll see. You know, it's still early days. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit of a wacky one to sort of bring to life. So I'm I'm sort of interested to see how they'll how they'll you know interpret that into a live action sort of setting. Um, because yeah, I mean, just look at it. It's it's a giant head in a toilet. Floating gold toilet, which who wouldn't want a floating gold toilet, honestly? Can't say much about the uh, explosions coming out the bottom. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's just, just hanging out, arms hanging out, limbs hanging out. It's crazy. But yeah, definitely check out Modoc on uh, Disney Plus. It's on the Star channel. Um, so it's not actually part of like the Marvel network um, that they have on there. I think they sort of definitely want to sort of keep that sort of separate because. You know, it's not a kid's cartoon. I think some of the jokes would sort of go over their head, but um, yeah, definitely definitely worth a joke, worth a go. But, you know, it's produced by Seth Green, so, you know, you kind of get what you want out of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's MODOK, Marvel Legends. I did see, um, I do remember the old Toy Biz one from back in the day, which was a builder figure. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear, what, what's your face? I, I kind of like the... Yeah, I kind of like just the stoic sort of, you know, sitting on the toilet face, you know, looking at his iPhone, <laughs> playing, playing solitaire or something. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I, I just, <laughs> I'm amazed by this thing. It's just, it's just so whimsical. I, I just love it. I really do. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on another video very soon. Yeah.